1.600 centímetros cúbicos con turbo es el corazón de este nuevo Chevrolet Cruz del WTCC con el cual ganaron el campeonato el año pasado y también vienen punteros en este año. Quiero compartir con vos precisamente esta nota espectacular en nuestro Power del día de hoy. Es quite a big difference because with the turbo is more uh, difficult to have a progressive power uh, because when the turbo comes on um, most of the power is coming uh, together and uh, that is one of the problem we have uh, to to find uh, uh, progressivity on the on the throttle, throttle pedal uh, which is still not the case but uh, we work on it. It's going to be an ongoing uh, process of, of drivability of the engine. The car is definitely quicker. We have more power and around 70% more torque. Really, that makes a big difference when it comes to uh, the initial accelerating out of the corner. Um, so we, we have to change the setup a little bit to suit for the tires, to make the tires last. Uh, and also obviously has an effect on the brakes because at the end of the straight, we're also faster. start with it's not too bad and then suddenly there is a peak uh, where you suddenly get more power and more torque um, and at that point it's very very easy to uh, to, uh, to get wheel spin and um, you know that's in the in the dry huh? uh, in the wet uh, it's uh, it's ten times worse um, so but that makes it more interesting in a way for a driver uh, and the, the other upside is that the cars are faster Uh, we have a bit more power, but you know, as a racing driver, you always want more, more, and more. In itself, uh, the main challenge is going to be the mileage we have to to reach with that engine. For the first year, we have one engine change allowed halfway through the season, whilst next year the engine will have to do the entire season. So the main challenge, I would say, is reliability. First of all, reduced capacity, so uh, smaller diameter balls, which uh, were imposed by the FIA to be within 81 mm and 84 mm. Uh, then, of course, the use of a turbocharger, which means that uh, the installation in the car is, is very different. Uh, we are allowed two and a half bar boost pressure, absolute pressure that is, which means that we have to use an intercooler in the car, which in terms of packaging was, was uh, quite uh, an interesting, challenging exercise to, to ensure we make uh, the best of, uh, of the regulations. Mirando estas imágenes me hago la pregunta si el TC2000 no podría aprender una pequeña lección del WTCC y dejar los motores genéricos de lado para volver cada marca con su motor uno por año. In order to get enough confidence uh, into us reaching the required mileage, we have done about 4,000 kilometers over the winter and that's only to validate for half a season running. We are expecting with the same engine to reach 8,000 kilometers. De paso también podrían hacer las carrocerías que se parezcan más a los autos, como los del caso del WTCC, que por algo es una categoría mundial. From the outside, there's very little to see other than a different intake for the front. Obviously, there was uh, air coming through the intercooler, but uh, everything up to the bulkhead is effectively completely new, and that includes uh, a part of the bodywork, that includes gearbox, that includes drivetrain, that includes exhaust, everything else that is uh, engine uh, ancillary. Al final del año, seguramente sería la opción más barata para el TC2000 copiar precisamente lo que hacen los amigos del WTCC. All the design, all the testing, all the engine build, the validation. So no, it's a, it is an RML engine. Pero obviamente mucha gente se quedaría fuera del negocio. I'm extremely satisfied by the results so far. I mean, a brand new engine, which it has to be said was uh, designed 
manufactured, built, validated, all within a year, and which managed to win its first two events. Um, yeah, I, I cannot be disappointed. In fact, I'm very pleased.